to strengthen you. But see, when you're filled with something value, yeah. trash doesn't look good to you. This is not even a temptation. Yeah. Right. But you know what I'm talking about. Right. It's because we got something better. You can lose sight of what is ahead. When this happens, you will fail. You don't want to lose sight. You don't want to lose sight of what God has. For. Our inheritance is what drives the believer. We see our desire to be with our God and to be well-pleasing with him and to dwell with him for eternity and to be with the brethren. You're driven by this. It overshadows everything. It's real hard to love this world while you're fixed on your inheritance. We will judge the world and angels. 1 Corinthians 6, 1 through 2. We will reign with him. 2 Timothy 2, 12. Our names will be confessed before the Father and the holy angels. Revelation 3, 5. Does that sound good to you? I know it does to me. Talk, let's talk about rewards. Rewards will be given to those who invest in themselves now. Yeah. You're investing yourself now in Christ Jesus. You're going to get a reward. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You're going to get it. Yeah. God says rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. Rejoice, why? In the persecution? No, in the reward. That's what you're rejoicing in. Not the persecution. You're going through the persecution because of the reward. Yeah. Matthew 5, 12. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. Revelation 22, 12. Hey, this just encourages you to want to do more for the kingdom. This encourages you to desire to understand God and his ways more mm -hmm. yeah. and to get rid of anything else that hinders you. Yeah. Like, like an athlete that even gets down to shaving all the hair off his body. You, you just want to get rid of anything that's going to slow you down. Yeah. The overcomers will be given power over the nations. Revelation 2.26. We will eat of the tree of life. How's that for eating? Mm -hmm. Huh? Go ahead. Deny the things of the world now, but there we will eat of the tree of life in the midst of the paradise of God, Revelation 2.7. We will receive a new name. It will be very personal between you and your God, yeah. Revelation 2.17. We will be made pillars in the very temple of God and will never again depart from his blessings. No more fighting, so fight now. Because there, you don't have to fight no more. You're going to be stable and secure and no more going out. You're a pillar. Uh -huh. Amen. Here, things are unsecure, uh -huh. but they're secure. Yeah. This is your inheritance I'm talking about. Amen. We will be made pillars. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more, and I will write the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is the new Jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him the new name. Revelation 3, 12. Now think about this, with all that's been said so far, to this point. When we see these promises, what earthly treasure can stand up to this? We, saw, we see all of our advantages to being there. We, and I understand now. And don't get me wrong, I understand we're getting a first fruits now. But that's the first fruits of where we're going. We don't want to stay here with the first fruits. The first fruits are drawing us there. It's showing us what we're going to be getting there in abundance. See, the first fruits, remember the first fruits? Those were just a, a little bit of what the land had. But the, it was just a little bit. When we see this promise, the promises, they become intensely 
precious to us. So precious that we, we, don't, we just want to get rid of anything that hinders us, that comes in our way. So what is our inheritance? Everything. Ephesians 1.22. Christ has given everything. You're an heir, so that means to get, you're with him. And that, so when you look at it that way, it makes it easy to overcome the trash that's thrown in your way. Walk right over it. Walk right through it. Because you've got somewhere you're heading. You've got a direction. The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. Revelation eleven fifteen. That's your inheritance. That's what you have to look forward to. So this is the promise of eternal inheritance, and it's no small thing, brethren. So let nothing hinder you from receiving all that God has for you. Thank you.